what's up guys? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a very different video for you. It's a once-off thing, but basically I'm continuing my series on the complete Discord basics. So if you've ever joined a Discord and you've seen colored messages in the chat where different lines or different words are highlighted different ways in different colors, then this is the video for you. So I have another channel called Overrated that I used to upload to, though I've started uploading more tech-centric things over here. And I've done basically a full Discord crash course, and I'd like to go ahead and upload that video from there to this channel, just to keep things nice and centralized, and possibly get some more views on it, because over there, it's barely being seen. So, that's the reason for the second intro, and more branding. But anyways, here we go. What's up guys, I'm Technobo here for Overrated, and today I've got a video for you unlike any other. If you found this video from searching, then you're in luck because this video goes way more in depth than any other video on this topic. I've yet to find a video that covers as much as this one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, Discord uses something called Highlight.js for code highlighting, otherwise known as the thing you use to put colors in your chat, and it has support for over 180 programming languages. As you probably know, figuring out how to add colors is incredibly difficult if you're trying to add color to normal text chat and not code. Videos and websites that explain it are still not clearing it up completely, for me at least, and hopefully you've ended up here. So, there are six basic colors that the system uses. Punch Red, Rust Orange, Pirate Gold, Dark Lime, Dark Teal, and Medium Blue, as well as three grays. There are no other colors to pick from, so you're stuck with these. You can't pick and choose what to highlight or to change the color of, but we can trick the code syntax highlighting system into doing what we want and putting colors in our text by making it look more like code. Often this means adding an extra character before, after, or around our sentences, but if you find the right code language to use, you can still make your text look amazing without adding too many characters on the side. I've done a huge amount of research of my own into this, and I've documented a lot of the easiest to use code languages on a page linked in the description down below. Of course, languages range from the YouTube page you're looking at right now to something like the challenge or joke of the esoteric programming language known as Brain a language completely based off of six characters. Discord highlights this in two shades of blue and gray. So enough of the theory behind it, let's make something useful. We'll use the ASCII doc language for this. By entering the following into Discord and hitting enter, it'll come up in chat like this. I've documented some of the languages on my website that I think will be of the most use to you, but feel free to look a little bit further if you'd like by clicking the second link in the description down below to check out highlight.js. It's a little bit more confusing there because it's not based around Discord, it's more just for general website creation. My website has a preview of what it will look like in the left hand column and the code you'd enter into Discord on the right hand side. The page should be mostly self explanatory and if you don't know what's happening, copy one of the blocks on the right hand side, change a few things here and there and send it to Discord chat and see what result you get. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. Leave a like on it and comment down below if you think I missed anything, need to add anything or anything along those lines. Try your best to share this video with those interested in this because all of the tutorials out there don't go very deep into it and they all sort of copy off of each other. I've done my own research here, looked into the coding behind it, and this is what I've come up with. So thank you all for watching, my name has been Technobo here for Overrated, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!